Alrighty folks, welcome back again to another episode of Third Alarm Fishing. I'm going to show you some fishing tips and tricks right now. I just showed you the doubled up bimini line, the bimini twist to a, to a double uni to join your doubled up line down to your leader. But what if that breaks off? What if your leader breaks? Because you know that it does, right? You caught that spot, you went to that spot and you caught that big fish. So let's say that fish cuts you off. Boom. Well, you still have that double uni attached to your bimini. And if all is well in the universe, hopefully it is on your boat, that the double, the doubled up line, the bimini is still intact. You're just missing the end of it where your leader was. So go ahead and trim that long, that long end. So that's what they call saying that the bimini is still intact. That mean is still good here with the bimini twist and you still have all this doubled up line. It doesn't matter that it doesn't make a loop. It's okay, you can tie this end directly on to your leader. You could either repeat and form a double uni knot and good to go, take it out for another run, or you can trade up and do what I'm gonna teach you now, which is called a variation, it's called the blood knot. This knot is a super strong knot and it begins by taking your main doubled up line and it begins also by taking your leader and putting them in opposing directions just like that one going one way one going the other all right super simple one going one way one going the other now what do you do you take that one doubled up tag and you start wrapping around one two three I go three times in one direction and then I come back and I bend it over and I keep going the same direction one two three I wrap it back down in the same in the opposite direction then what you have from here what you have from here is your doubled up line and your tag of your floro or your leader going in, in opposite ways just so it forms a little V there so what you do is you take that doubled up bimini the tag coming back and you go in between those two those two legs and so it should look like this it should look like it should look like the doubled up coming down the tag in from your leader with the doubled up uh, the doubled up line going up the leader wrapping three times turn it around wrap it three more times and then put that tag in through that section those two lines then you do the same thing with your floro around your doubled up bimini one two three I did it three times now it's time to bring it back in the other direction keep wrapping the same way around that line one two you're gonna end up using all your fingers on the tying this knot all right now what you're left with is the same thing on this side and only you have that middle portion where you're gonna take that fluoro and you're gonna drop it back down underneath where that other two remember the the split where they split the tag end from your bimini goes up one direction and forms a little bite then you wrap the other side of the leader and wrap it back and now you drop that leader down so they're exiting that center portion in opposite directions. Good time to moisten this knot is right about now. When you first start this knot, start it off really slowly to tighten it up. Really slowly. All right, I'm gonna make sure it gets nice and even on the tension. Keep moistening it if you have to. I like to give myself a little more slack on this double. And that tightens up super nice. And what you're left with is a knot that tightens in the middle with those tag ends. Those tag ends are exiting the main and the union right there on either side. So they're at 90 degree angles. You remember the double uni? 
where those tag ends go out along the, the axis of the line. On the blood knot, they exit at right angles, making it more streamlined for going through the guides. That's important when you go to cast your line. It's not gonna get hung up as quickly as the double uni because it's a more streamlined knot. Yeah, all about streamline and preparation. Do this stuff ahead of time, folks, and you'll have more success on the water. Hopefully you found my, my video informational and helpful on how to tie your Bimini Twist Double Union down to a blood knot for streamline applications when casting. All right? If you like my videos and you found some value, like them up, share and subscribe. Hit the bell somewhere up in the corner for notifications. I'm putting out more content for your information. So. Check us out online, thirdalarmfishing.com. Captain Rex, and I'm out.